English conversation practice. Topic: The lesson. Today in class, I learned a very meaningful story. Really? Can you tell me? Of course. The story is called "A Bunch of Chopsticks." Start telling! I'm very excited. Once upon a time, there was an old rich man who had two children. The sons who were perpetually quarreling among themselves. The father must be very sad. Yeah, so the dad wanted to teach his boys a lesson. A lesson? Right. One day, he gathered his children and told the servant to bring up a bunch of chopsticks. The father told his children to break the bunch of chopsticks at once. <gasps> so, can they break it? Definitely no. No matter how hard the younger son tried, it did not work. The older son was equally unable to break the sticks. Then what? Then the father said, "Try to break those chopsticks one by one." Immediately, his children were easily able to break that bunch of chopsticks. Do fathers want to teach their children about solidarity? Yes, the father said, "If you work together as a team, no one can defeat you." And you should be united in loving each other. It's a valuable lesson. Topic: People and work. Thank you for spending your lunch break with me. Oh, not at all. What are you having problems with? Well, unfortunately, I'm having a number of problems. Oh, what exactly is that? I couldn't work on my computer all day. Did your computer have a virus? Yes, I opened a virus-infected file. <gasps> oh my goodness! When opening files in your email, you must exercise extreme caution. A virus might cause your entire computer to crash. It was purely coincidental. I had no idea the download included a virus. I'll be more cautious next time. What did you do after that? I requested that a computer repairman come to my office. He spent the entire day repairing my laptop. But. The serious problem is that I'm afraid the virus will lose the data on my computer. Don't be concerned. You know, documents as well as important projects are saved on this computer. I can assist you in reclaiming it, but next time, make sure you have backup files, just in case it happens again. Thank you so much. Topic: My future job. Mia, what do you want to be in the future? I have always wanted to become a teacher. I believe I would want to work with children to help them learn. Teachers, as you know, must work extremely hard for little pay. I'm not concerned with money. You know, being a teacher has been a dream for me since childhood. What subject would you like to teach? Like Miss Kim, I want to teach English. She makes learning enjoyable. I had no idea how much I would enjoy English until I enrolled in her class. English. I'm the worst at that subject. Me too, but. After taking Miss Kim's class, I gradually fell in love with it.
English is my favorite subject. If you want to teach English, you must work hard and learn it well. I know what I need to do. Last week, I received an A on the English test, and I'm trying to improve myself every day. Learning is simple when you have excellent teachers like Miss Kim. Yeah, right? I want to be a teacher too, but I want to teach maths, not English. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.